Right, this is how to change the fuel filter on one of these Peugeot Ford DW10 engines. So found in Mondeo Galaxy S Max 308, 207, also, uh, not 207, but all sorts of things. There are a couple of special tools you'll need. One is a vacuum bleeder, you really do need this. And the other one is one of these special sockets. Um, you might be able to get away with not having that, but you do need some sort of sucking device to get the fuel through, because these don't have a lift pump. So I'm going to do this in real time. So it might not be the smoothest operation, but hopefully then it will show the complete um, task. So the first thing to do is to take this crash shield off. These are eight millimeter headed bolts. Now these are particularly difficult to bleed. If you haven't done one or you don't have a, some sort of way of sucking the fuel out, you will have issues. You will not be able to get it started really. And if you do try and get it started, you may actually damage the fuel pump by running it dry. So uh, some kits, such as the kit I've got, I've actually gone for a um, Bosch fuel filter. There's no recommendation here, but they do come with uh, with blanking plugs um, like this. Um, so you disconnect the fuel line. That one you pull the red tab up. This one you push the white tab in. And this one you squeeze like this. So they come out pretty easily. like so. Then we're going to use a special tool. Um, you see how it's got a cutout in it here. Goes across like that. Now these don't actually need to be done up that tight, but they do tend to seize on a little bit, so Just pull the fuel lines out of the way a bit here. It's a little bit fiddly. Do the rest by hand here. So take the lid out, you will spill fuel like that. And then what I'm going to do is going to suck the old fuel out because a fuel filter on a diesel engine is actually really a water trap. It doesn't just filter the fuel, but it gets the water out. So you can use the, uh, the vacuum bleeder to achieve this. So it's ideal to get as much of the old fuel out as possible and any water. This is actually a brake bleeder, but it's very good for this car. I'm just going to take this filter housing and put it to one side for the moment. Suck out everything out of here. Alternatively, there is actually a water drain bleed screw down the bottom there. And then it's a case of getting the filter and unscrewing it and getting diesel everywhere. So that just pulls out. And uh, try not to touch uh, the filter if you can. Put the new one in. The next stage of the operation is to change this O-ring. So dispose of that. I'm making a tremendous mess because I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. So I would normally do a bit neater than this. But. Fit the new O-ring. Try not to uh, twist it. And then I like to put a little bit of uh, silicon grease on. I mean, it's uh, some people disagree with this, but it does help it go in. 
just uh, lubricate the new o-ring like so so just going to screw this filter housing in and with a bit of silicon grease on it will actually screw in by hand so that's the it just this lines up with this and then you can uh, place the crash shield on like so okay that's the housing on now this is a special bleeding technique which is the real point of this video so we want to connect this fuel pipe up like so and also connect this pipe up now the next thing you want to do is get the vacuum bleeder and this is in my opinion the most important part we need to fill this housing up with diesel so we undo the bleed screw and place the vacuum bleeder on here until we see diesel coming out so I'm getting diesel coming out now I'm going to close the screw while keeping the vacuum on and it's important to keep the vacuum on you might worry about this pipe there's a non-return valve in that so don't worry so much about this but that is the next one to connect so we connect this up and turn the vacuum pump on again again until we start seeing some diesel come through so, uh, you can see some diesel coming through now next thing to do is to start the engine leaving the vacuum pump connected and then very quickly take this off and put this on like that we must have a little bit of air in there still so I'm just going to keep sucking through there didn't quite like that so you've just got to keep, keep going with this Probably a little bit of air got in there. So just swap that over like that. Vacuum pump off. And that should now stay running. Make sure this bleed nipple is tight. So it's not sucking air in. Got no bubbles coming through this pipe here. Although that did cut out for a, a, a tiny little bit. Um, I think that was pretty good. Probably didn't quite leave the vacuum on as long as I should have, or probably would have if I hadn't been filming. And that's it, it's actually done, and that won't cut out now.